Hey guys, and welcome to another Game Pickups and Unboxings video. Sorry about the bowl in the back. I'm just gonna leave it. I got a lot of waters too, so. But today is a bigger, much bigger edition of Game Pickups and Unboxings. And sorry about me in the corner, but for this one video, we'll, we'll do it. And um, for you guys who don't like uh, to sit through and like to hear me say everything off the box, what I'll do is I'll just show you the games I picked up and then then I'll unbox them. Lords of the Fallen. Uh, this is the complete edition. Got it for 20 bucks at Walmart. Uh, this is Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls uh, together in one collection. There's two discs in here, I'm pretty sure. And I got it for 50 bucks at a local game store. Resident Evil Revelations. I got this for 20 bucks at Walmart. Uh, Resident Evil 6 came out for 20 bucks brand new, so I picked that up at GameStop. And then uh, I ordered this one online. This is Gravity Rush uh, Remastered. Uh, I got Journey Collected, or Collected Edition. This is a European game, as well as uh, I think Gravity Rush and uh, Heavy Rain are European. Usually European have the little string thing around it, say PS4, help you open it a little bit more. And the most rare game I probably gonna have in my collection is Saturday Morning RPG. They made 1980 uh, physical uh, copies of this game. So I was lucky enough to get one. They only had two left on Amazon. I figured I, I'd buy it before they, uh, you can't get these anymore. But I really, really have to complain. The disc is loose in here. So I'm going to have to open it. I know I, d I really don't want to, but uh, then I don't have to buy the game digitally to play it. So this is uh, what I'm going to say for last. Um, I'll start out with uh, my European games I got. Actually, I'll do the, the games I got here first. Just so the European can be the last. First one, uh, Resident Evil 6, and it includes all uh, map and multiplayer DLC. Uh, it says, no hope left on the back. The world is in turmoil. The C-Virus has spread to the epidemic proportions. The bioterror threat looks like looks to lead humanity into a chilling end of days. Uh, when all goodbyes have been said and all hope seems lost, one final struggle begins, featuring four unique scenarios and four gameplay styles. Enter the darkest corners of the world, or with up to four players online. Includes all map and multiplayer DLC, 18 gigabytes DualShock 4, and it's two-player game. So if uh, you want to play couch co-op, that's two players. And on the back, it looks like that. On the front, it looks like that. And I'll tell you what I get inside. Oh, I need something to open this with. I just use my finger. If I can't find something. Alright, open it up. Oh, okay. So no DLC. Everything must be just on the disc. What the disc looks like, nothing in the box, not too interesting, but great game nonetheless. Resident Evil Revelations 2, Evil is Watching, Survival Horror Returns as the fates of Resident Evil past and present meet on an abandoned uh, island facility, will they be able to survive the badness that awaits them? Uh, bonus content included. Two playable side stories, four character costumes, raid mode, throwback map pack, raid mode, characters, Hunk and Albert Wesker. It's one to two players, just like the other game. Uh, 24 gigabytes, uh, DualShock 4 remote play. 1080p output. Gotta love paying 20 bucks for those Evil games. It's pretty nice. And same story as the other Resident Evil game. All you got inside is the disc. Oh, and if you want to check out the back, there's the bag. And another one I got. Been waiting a long time to get this game. 
until like a complete copy came out for 20 bucks and I got it for 20 bucks so not too bad not too shabby Sorry, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult to open. And from what I heard, this game's a lot like uh, the Dark Souls franchise, only except uh, not as difficult and not as engaging. Which kind of threw me off for a second, but I didn't really didn't want to not get it before it came back up and as a pre-owned game, because I don't really want to get my games pre-owned, so, as you guys may know. It's got one little piece of paper on here. Uh, this is Lords of Fallen Complete Edition. Uh, yeah, there's a code on the back, so I won't show you that. And it includes Ancient Labyrinth DLC Lionheart Pack, The Monks uh, Deceiver DLC Demonic Weapons Pack, The Foundation Booth, and The Arcane Booth. There's that little paper. Here, I'll hold that to the side just so you guys can see. And then it says Lords of the Fallen Complete Edition. Let me see if I can get that disc a little closer. It's pretty cool. And then with the disc out of it, we got little, we got like the manual controls right there behind the cover art. It's kind of cool. And um, on the back it says, Become Harkin, a man tormented by a history of evil deeds that weigh heavily upon his conscience. His dark past holds the key to saving both himself and humanity when a fallen god unleashes a demonic army. Only Harkin can stand between, stand in his path, or its path. World, explore every corner to uncover dark secrets. Lord, challenge the generals of the Rogar army. Uh, tactics, cho or tactics, choose your weapons and spells wisely. Bonus content, ancient labyrinth, um, uh, I already told you all that. That's just the little DLC card. Uh, defiance, confronts a god and decide the fate of humanity. One player, 5.2 gigaboy gigabytes, and there is remote play as well. Next one, we got the Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls collection. This is really cool. I, I wish they would have came out with this in the United States. We don't get everything. And I don't think this game is very popular over here. Here. Poke a hole in it. Just enough to get it open. This is a bigger one today, guys. Mm. Okay. Okay. That is the front. Peggy 18. I don't know how they do their mature rating there, but that's mature rated game, so. So I opened it up. Six big reasons to join PlayStation. Play with friends online. So this is just a little bit. A little advertisement for PlayStation Plus, and it also shows the controls of both games. And then on the inside, you got both discs chilling there. It's really cool. I wish they would do this more often, like collections with both di discs inside. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Only on PlayStation. Your actions and decisions create the stories, and two incredible adventures lead the hunt for a serial killer in Heavy Rain and experience an extraordinary life in between or beyond two souls. Heavy Rain, discover how far you'll go to save someone you love, explore multiple plot routes and shaped by your choices, or plot routes shaped by your choices. Play as four characters with different stories and skills. This is one player, 40 gigabytes. DualShock 4. 1080p remote play. 
Beyond Two Souls, embark on an emotional journey to starring Ellen Page and William Defoe. Prepare for a psychological challenge packed with unexpected, unexpected twists. Wield strange powers to affect the world around you. It's one to two players, so another game you can play with a friend. Uh, network features, 37 gigabytes, 1080 output, uh, remote play, and dual shock. That's what it looks like on the back. A couple little screenshots on there. Put that to the side. We got Journey Collected Edition. Oh, these are one of the cool ones with the little peel on them. I'm not going to worry about it, though, because somebody taped over the peel with that little thing. Okay, get that open. Now here's the front cover. It's actually three games in one. It's Flow, Journey, and Flower, all made by the same people. The award-winning adventure remastered for PS4. Soar above ruins and glide across sands as you explore an ancient world where you, where life once flourished with stunning visuals, haunting music, and unique online gameplay. Journey delivers an experience like no other. Uh, collector's edition includes flow and flower, two equally uh, innovative games from that game company. Winner of five BA FTAs, including game design and artistic achievement, Grammy nominated soundtrack composed by Austin Wintory. Flow, flower included. One of the most ex amazing game experiences. Uh, from what I heard, this game is actually pretty uh, short. So it's pretty cool that they added a couple other games. I got it for like 40 bucks online, I think. Uh, one player, one to two network players, 3.8 gigabytes. And they have 480p, 720p, 7 t or 1080p, and 10... 80i, uh, DualShock 4, Peggy 7, Fear of Violence, and Online. It's pretty cool. Let's see what's in the middle, or inside. Another one of these PlayStation things. And it's kind of cool, they actually include the controls for this little collected edition. I really like that. That's what they at least should include in our American games. At least that, just a little paper that tells you the control journey collective edition right there. And that's the game. And we got Gravity Rush. This game, I, I knew it was coming out a while ago, but I didn't know we, we weren't getting it physically. Or at least at GameStop. Um... I didn't see it at Walmart or Target or anything, so I decided to order it online on Amazon. I've seen people with the white case, but um, I got this in the mail. I, it looked like the white case when I was ordering it, but they gave me this one, which is nice. It's a little bit cooler looking. And it says, the PS Vita smash hit now on PS4. <laughs> Gravity Rush Remastered PG Mild Violence. Only on PlayStation. It's pretty cool front cover. And fall into gravity defying adventure with Mysterious Cat at your side. Harness the incredible power of gravity and save a world under siege from strange forces. Manipulate gravity with the DualShock 4 motion sensor. Explore a huge open world in or filled with secrets. Enjoy extra missions and costumes with all DLC from PS Vita Edition. 
One player network features 9.9 gigabytes. DualShock remote play. Oh yes, I freaking love European games. Why do I love European games? Because they give us a manual somewhat. It's like these little sheets with the PlayStation stuff on them. And it tells you the controls. That's pretty awesome. Gravity Rush Remastered. I might just order all my games from Europe. And then the last one, Saturday Morning RPG. I'm kind of regretting open this right now, but at the same time, I don't want to pay more money to play the same game. This disc is, like, loose, which pissed me off. That's what it looks like on there. Saturday Morning RPG. This is the most expensive one in the lot of games I picked up. This one was like 60 bucks, something like that, 60, 70 bucks in between there. And it's also got a manual, which is pretty awesome. But before I tell you about that, uh, here's the front cover. It says, are you strong enough to defeat Commander Hood? Enter a world where Saturday morning cartoons are a reality and take on the world as Marty of Marty as he fights the world most hideous villain. Tech specs battle across five episodes, fight countless foes, an act of turn-based combat, combat, soundtrack by Vince DiCola and Kenny Meredith. One player 260 gigabyte, or 260 megabyte minimum. DualShock 4. It's got a couple little screenshots in the back. Fighting in turn-based form. I love turn-based games, so this should be a good one to play. Might play it tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. And how many games do you get a manual with? It's pretty awesome. Here, I'll show you a little couple pages. Characters. Episodes. Stickers. Tips and tricks. That's pretty awesome. Notes. Thanks for playing. Mighty Rabbit Limited and Run. Hey, when games become loose in there, it always forces me to open them early. But I waited a little bit. Alright, guys. And we'll do a little recap of what I bought today, or what I got today, for you guys unboxing. We got Gravity Rush, Journey, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls. Uh, Lords of the Fallen. Resident Evil Revelations 2, Resident Evil 6, and Saturday Morning RPG. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I, I got a lot of games stacked up, guys. I need to get to playing. Probably got over 100 games by now. But you guys take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. Um, and I think I got a video coming here soon. Maybe some gameplay of Doom. See you guys later. Bye.